Hi everyone, Jamie here. Thanks for watching today. So this video kicks off the start of my Mother's Day series. So I'll be sharing a variety of projects, including cards and 3D makes. Some will require specialty dies. Others you can just use your scoreboard and a trimmer. And in today's video, we're going to be making a double gatefold card. No specialty dies are required for this. This card was inspired by my friend Simone. Simone has her own YouTube channel, Blonde Cards and Crafts, and I'll pop a link in the description box below to her original video. In today's video, I'm going to be using the offset embossing folder from Made to Surprise, and then the Butterfly Kisses collection. So I have the glitter decoupage pad and the 12 by 12 papers. So I've decided to split the card down into three sections. The first section being the outer gatefold, the second being the inner gatefold, and the third being the belly band. So for the outer gatefold, we need two pieces of 12 by six. Along the 12 inside, score at six and nine on both pieces. Then for your matte layers, you want two pieces of five and three quarters squared. Four pieces of two and three quarters by five and three quarters. And then your pattern paper to measure five and a half squared. One piece of that and four pieces of two and a half by five and a half. So we're going to fold and burnish along the score line. So we have our largest section here, our six by six section. The first score line is a mountain fold and then the second is a valley fold. So we created a Z fold and then we're going to take our second piece and flip it around so that we've got this six by six gatefold card okay so I've got a white piece for the front and then a white piece for the, for the back I'm not going to attach that now because I want to add an additional sentiment on there but if you want to attach yours you may want to stamp something and then attach it So my mats and layers are going to be attached as so. So I'm just going to go ahead now and attach those and then I'll come back to you. So that's everything now attached. I'm going to set that to one side and let that dry. So let's now work on our inner gatefold. So we have two pieces of 10 by 4. Along the 10 inch side, score at 3 and 6. So two pieces of that. Then for our matte layers, I have a piece of white cardstock that measures three and three quarter squared. Four pieces that measure two and three quarters by three and three quarters. For the larger square that's sitting in the center, I have this piece, which is from the decoupage pad. And I'm choosing not to add any pattern paper onto this piece. But it's entirely up to you. You could stamp on here, you could add pattern paper and then an additional white piece um, to add your sentiment. So the options are endless, but I'm choosing to do this. So we're going to fold and burnish along the score lines as we did before. So you've got your largest panel here. This score line is a valley, this is a mountain, and then that creates your Z fold. Same with this piece. We're just going to flip it over and attach it there. We've then got our white panel to go in the centre there. And our other pieces that will sit like so. So I'm just going to go ahead now and attach those and then I'll come back to you. So that's everything now attached on this piece. So we're going to attach these two together now. So this will sit in the center there and attach the back of this piece here 
will attach to this section so that when it stands up it'll have sort of a view like that and then it'll all fold flat so I'm just going to add glue to the back panel first and look at centering that and then I'm just going to add glue to about a quarter of the panel on the edge here so you can lay it flat and attach it to the panel like so so I'm just going to do the exact same now on the opposite side so I'm just going to let that dry and work on the belly band so I've cut a piece of one and a half by 12 I've then got a square piece of five by five a white panel that is four and three quarters squared and then another purple panel which I've embossed and that's four and a half a squared and that will layer up like so I've then got this piece which is from the decoupage pad and I'm going to attach that in the center there and I've got some additional pieces then for some embellishments which I'll attach like so so first of all I'm just going to work on the layers and getting these attached and then we'll look at the, attaching it to the belly band then so there's the topper already I'm just bringing the card back in we're going to fold that down flat like so take a belly band piece and wrap it around I'm just going to line everything up with my grid try and get an even spacing on both sides and just sort of pinch that in place now you want your belly band with enough give sort of to move up and down the card and it, for it to hold in place but not too tight for it to not be able to slide up and down just going to burnish those score lines and just double check that that's okay that should move up and down quite freely so I'm just going to add some quick grab glue to both ends here and the topper I'm going to gently try and pull that off now so I can just add a bit more pressure to it so there's the final card I'll just hold it up for you so the belly band slides off like so and it opens up and it'll stand and display like this so it sort of has that showstopper style great for using up your pattern papers you could add more sentiments to this you could spell out someone's name you could make the panel smaller you could do lots with this and I think this is great for a Mother's Day card so you could add personalized messages on each of these panels and this would also be great for a masculine make so just change up the papers um, and you're good to go
and then it pops back on like so. So that's my version of the double gatefold. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, you might want to hit the like button, leave a comment or consider subscribing to the channel. If you do subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future tutorials. As I said, I've got lots of Mother's Day mix coming up and then after that, it'll be going into Easter mix. If I can link any of the products that I used in today's video, I'll list it in the description box below. Once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.